Hello, welcome to this edition of Intelligent Video Today. I'm your host, Steve Onderhaar from Intelvid Research. Join us on today's episode is Jason Beam, CEO over Panopto. Welcome, Jason. Hey, Steve. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's great to have you uh, join us on Intelligent Video today. Uh, Panopto has been long a leader in the streaming video platform market, particularly in the realm of uh, EDU solutions. Uh, how is Panopto going about positioning itself today? Yeah, that's it, obviously changed over the years. Uh, uh, COVID had a large impact on, on our company as the rest of the companies in our market. Uh, we realized that the old way of lecture capture and, and just going into universities and, and learning is is not the way of the future. And so we really position ourselves as more of a, a rich, inclusive, accessible uh, learning experience. And really what we're trying to do is, is help students learn easier, I really connect the dots between using our technology and driving better student outcomes. And what that means is, you know, they have a more light using the technology of a more likely chance to pass the course and graduate from the university, uh, as well as uh, is on the corporate side, you know, uh, onboarding uh, students or learners faster. You know, so, so you're using video in the learning uh, experience, but the going beyond uh, uh, just video to make a more full-fledged, uh, uh, well-rounded education experience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, video has been our, our core uh, from the beginning, but uh, we're thinking about all content that will drive learning outcomes or, or student outcomes. And we're, we're, we're more, more, more willing to look at other, other types of content as well. Right. And uh, uh, that extends beyond the classroom. You're starting to talk about the concept of uh, the digital campus, if you will. Tell us a little bit about that and how Panopto uh, extends beyond the realm of the classroom to create a more, a, a more well-rounded learning experience. Yeah. And so, again, traditionally, students went into the university. They sat in the, the 60 to 90 minute lectures and they took tests. Um, now there's an opportunity to do more. To, to, again, the, the goal is how do students retain more information? So, so essentially, go to the lectures, go back and watch the lectures again. And before midterms, you're watching them a third time. So how do you, again, the goal of the, the professors is to drive those retention of information. And so we need to come up with more ways that they can consume information and retain that information. And so when they leave the university, more of that information is retained as they join the world. What a concept, uh, people actually learning the stuff that they're supposed to in school. So uh, uh, when, when you have that capability uh, for, for uh, enabling uh, video in, in uh, the, the EDU realm, uh, there's a lot of product features that go along with that. Uh, uh, give us a little sense of where you're taking the product on a moving forward basis. What, what is in store for Panopto from a product development standpoint for the year ahead? Yeah, and recently what we've been focused on, you know, in the past six months is in better integrations into LMSs. LMS really is an important part of our product to integrate into those, integrate into Zoom, Teams, et cetera. We've been adding languages. Uh, we just released over the summer our version 14, which has a the beginning of our uh, UI UX refresh, uh, really modernizing the, the look and feel and the ease of use. But really where we're most excited about is where we're going. So we, we've we utilize AI features today but we're really expanding the investment in AI features. Um, so there's a number of areas around search, summarization of content that we're focused on right now. We're doing currently doing mini PCs in a lot of areas. Uh, the areas we're being a little bit more uh, sensitive is, is generative AI. Uh, we, we are working with our, our university partners to understand how they feel about it. When they're building policies now, we've talk, I've talked to, I don't know, 30 universities over the last 90 days. And they are spending a lot of time to build the right AI policy to ensure that there's academic integrity. What we don't want to do is create a product that, that hinders academic integrity and the student you know, and, and ensuring that the students actually retain real information and, and they're not, you know, using this to, to get ahead unnecessarily. We really are in a time of uncharted waters uh, when it comes to AI and its impact on the uh, EDU experience uh, in, in the classroom. And uh, there's there's a uh, it's it's wise to, to tread cautiously in, in this new environment. Uh, uh, as you're seeing uh, uh, folks in the EDU realm uh, embrace video, are you seeing certain trends beginning to emerge on a post-COVID basis? Are people using live, on-demand more? Uh, what, what type of video adoption trends are you seeing uh, uh, in, in the uh, EDU environment today? 
Yeah, a lot of different areas. So as we said, you know, the, the watching the lectures again after they, they've actually sat in the lecture, um, mm -hmm. students are actually demanding this. They, they want the ability to watch them again. We're also seeing the, the, the desire for TikTok style videos. And I know that sounds like it's just a, a, a crazy trend, but, but shorter videos that have more smaller consumable information. It doesn't mean on TikTok, but, but how do you now do, build, how can the professors build smaller snippets of data and be able to, to serve that up? Uh, the other area we're, we're, we're seeing, and I was just in Australia and New Zealand on a trip, and a lot of the universities that do this, is student submission of videos. They're, they're utilizing, students create videos, they do presentations. This is another way to reinforce the content when they submit it this way, as well as test, they, they truly know it. It's very hard to uh, do a, a, a video presentation if you don't actually know the content and, and be uh, believable. So we're seeing that a lot in New Zealand and Australia. We start to see it across the U.S. as well. So uh, you have a lot of experience in the education environment. How does that translate into the enterprise? What are, you, what are some uh, lessons that you're uh, applying from uh, the EDU realm uh, in, for, for corporate users? Yeah, it's, it's slightly different, but really the goal is the same thing. It's, it's learner outcomes, I, you know, very, student outcomes versus learner outcomes. The goal is with our software in corporate market, is how do you accelerate the onboarding of, of an employee, a new employee to the company? The other thing that we found recently that we're seeing a lot of, and a lot of new customers are looking at is on-demand, just-in-time how-tos. So we have a, an airline that, that wants to use our software for maintenance how-to videos. You know, the landing gear sensor's broken. How does that, that maintenance guy on the ground quickly learn how to test it, how to replace it, how to test it when it's done, and quickly turn around these plans? So there's a number of aspects there that, that we see is, is very similar than some other unique use cases. It's it's all about a matter of training and learning, and, uh, and that applies equally uh, on campus as it does in the workplace, doesn't it? Yep, great. Uh, Jason Bean from Panopto, CEO over there. Thanks so much for taking the time to visit with us today. Thank you, Steve. Really appreciate it. And we want to thank you for watching today's episode with Jason Beam of Panopto. In order to access more episodes and more insight from industry thought leaders like Jason, click on the link right below there to subscribe to the Intelligent Video Today YouTube channel. For Intelligent Research and Intelligent Video Today, I'm Steve Onderhaar. Thanks for your time.